This stabilization center for malnourished children in Somalia is run by an NGO, Action Against Hunger. It serves mostly poor women living in IDP camps on the outskirts of Mogadishu. Fadumu Made left Gov Gadud village, a rural settlement in the southern Somali Bay region, after three of her young children died of malnutrition. She now lives in an IDP campus with three of her remaining children. Before the drought, we had livestock and farms that grew crops, but the drought destroyed them all at once. I had three children who died from malnutrition, and the child on my lap is suffering severe malnutrition because of the ongoing hunger crisis. The larger number of displaced women with malnourished children, mostly under the age of five, is overwhelming for hospitalists. Families escaping the ravages of drought from all regions of Somalia see Mogadishu as their only hope. Aisha Aden is from Sako town in middle Juba. We cannot grow crops and our livestock have died. The situation of our children as well as our lives are in dire danger. May God be with us. Doctors say there is a risk of malnutrition that can cause more deaths if it is not addressed soon enough. Dr. Abdirisaq Yusuf works and supervises the malnutrition ward at the Martino Hospital, where he is also a director. He says there is a shortage of nutritional foods for children. They must be given a therapeutic diet such as milk with nutritional value for the vital strength required for malnourished children. The supplies that were donated to us by the United Nations are depleted now. Meanwhile, at an IDP camp just outside Mogadishu, women and their young children wait outside their makeshift shelters for help. And the campus caretaker says families in desperate need of help arrive daily. On a single day, 10 vans with displaced people can arrive. The next day, four. Other days, we have no new arrivals. Every day has its own challenges. There is always something different. You can see families being dropped by vehicles all day, and they walk to this camp. That is the reality here. 80s groups say the Somali government lacks the capacity to mitigate the severe drought and malnutrition crisis. And without more help, the situation will grow even more grim for children.